yang Hello and welcome to another edition of the DJ Sound Show. Now, we're always trying to do different things here. We're in our fourth year. We're always innovating and always with the show trying to offer a unique opportunity for people who might not necessarily um, be exposed in the normal ways. So today is no different. I've got two very special guests uh, with two very special shows. Uh, they're both from South Africa. Uh, the first artist I've got here is Thibaut Taz. How are yeah, you doing? Man. I'm great, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All good. We're really excited to have you. Um, now, this was made possible by Bridges for Music. Yes. Now, tell me about it. W what is it? Well, I mean, the whole point behind Bridges for Music is that it's a non-government organization. And the whole point behind it was um, to basically bridge the gap between the international scene and the South African local sea. And the whole point, the whole idea came from a guy called Valentino. Uh, he had spent a couple of uh, years in South Africa and right. he had pretty much from his point seen uh, what was going on in terms of the talent that was being nurtured. But because of lack of resources and whatever the case might be, we were not really able to have some sort of rec like international recognition. And he started the entire sort of organization and you know, so far we've had some amazing work that we've done from workshops uh, to now recently we just played at Lustenberry Festival a couple of days ago. and Amazing. That was mind-blowing. Really, man. really amazing. Yeah. And and so in some ways the old cliche of like, uh, you know, that the world has been made smaller by the internet and yeah. everyone's connected. Yeah. You still need that push, don't you? No, it's always the case. You know, um, luckily, obviously, internet has made things a lot easier. You know, coming as a DJ and also producer, uh, when you want to do some works with guys that are internationally based, it's always it makes life a lot easier that way. You know, you can always bounce ideas in between each other. But at the same time, what you're doing is that you're also introducing a different element of sound into the into the yeah. case. What I've noticed so far being in the UK is that there's a lot of techno scene that's really booming this side. Yeah, and we're coming from an area. Where there's a lot of drums and rhythms and it really gets you sort of going it's a different flow to it yeah. but a lot of people welcomes it welcomed it at the same time so I mean in my head I'm already imagining you know collaborating with you know other guys from this side and I've made a lot yeah. of friends and looking forward to future projects so do you think that we could hear some of those today no no doubt definitely I mean I've got some of my uh, stuff that I'm going to be playing earlier on predominance of the set that I've prepared today is some local sort of South African sounds and what uh, what I'm proud of is that this is the type of music that if you listen to it you can tell that it's got a lot of sort of you know international feel to it and when yeah. I say that I mean technically is very sound and it can easily compete on an international scale you know um, but it's got your flavor and your origins uh, you know no one else really without having your background and experience could bring to the table it's always the case you know um yeah. you, i think as, as entertainers as djs we're always trying to bring something unique into the table and now to come here and actually introduce a whole new other you know sound altogether you know it could be different from the next person so that's what i'm going to be you know playing for you know for everybody today Excellent. Yeah. Glastonbury. Yes, yes. Glastonbury. I mean, you know, it's Tuesday. Yeah. So you've had a little bit of time. You know, your gig was on Saturday. How yeah. was it for you? Because it's quite a unique festival, isn't it? I think one word for it, epic. <laughs> um, for me, um, it's it was mind blowing just seeing the scene, seeing the size of it. I mean, we had well over 100,000 people that were attending checking out the stage that we're playing at which was the blue stage and the whole setup that they had which was the sort of Rio de Janeiro slumber sort of setup yeah. that they had going on and the music that was being played every corner of that festival a lot of people play, paid attention to it and I can see why it's the most respected festival in yeah. the world and to have been invited you know from South Africa to basically come here and represent the South African sounds on a global scale like that was amazing for me man and, and, and also hanging out with your chums Skrillex and Richie Horton <laughs> you know that must have been quite unique as well I'll be honest with you that also caught me by surprise because <laughs> um, we, we, we had an idea of what was going to happen but at the same time, um, we, we, we sort of 
knew look there's going to be a secret party that you guys are going to be doing you're going to be meeting a few guys but yeah. we're not going to really tell you guys yet come through and see what's going on and to know that uh, you know we were neighbors with Richie Horton literally his <laughs> tent was next to ours <laughs> and we're just chilling sharing ideas yeah and then later on we've got the secret party back to back set myself and Foster and we had to play with Skrillex and everybody's like what wow. is going on here so to have something like that was just Beyond and, amazing. And that's how we like it, the DJ Sound Show. You know, you come fresh over from the club the night before or fresh from Glastonbury Festival. Yeah. So I think that you need to walk around the other side and just go and lay it down. I'm, I'm ready for it, man. Let's make it happen. Awesome. Cool. So I'm very proud to announce Thibaut Taz from South Africa here on the DJ Sound Show.
stay about in a world Drowning in sorrows without sinking oh. We faced with so much pressures Everything I try to do is in vain Oh, oh my endeavors I need to take a cruise or a flight away from this plight A place where I can free my mind Let my thoughts go and swirl Where I can just smile and wave to the girls <laughs> Now I know you think I'm some kind of dreamer And as they say I'm not the only one Cause I am a believer That somewhere on the other side lies a place brighter than the sun <laughs> Okay, 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 okay But you understand me, right? You understand where I'm coming from You feel me? Get out this place, I need to get high But I don't want to lose my mind See, I just want to sit back And let the rhythm flow through on the inside Like an antidote My antidote A simple beat Simple melody, a bass line and harmony, like music, house music, deep house music.
So in the background, Thibaut Taz in the mix here on the DJ Sound Show. Thibaut, if you want to come around the other side, I want to have a little chat. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I think at some point I was trying to figure out what the RMX 1000 can do. But it's like at the same time, let me keep it natural from what I'm used to, which is just trying to keep it as clinical as possible, you know? And You like clean and smooth, yeah? That's my thing. It's like my host, my, the way I, I like to approach sets is like taking you through a journey, you know? And for me, it's always amazing having all this equipment, you know, at your disposal and you can do so much at the same time. But you know at the same time i'm coming from that you know old school age where you used to play records and used to you want to let the music take center stage exactly you know so that's why i try to keep it as clean as possible but at the same time the content of what i'm playing has to make sense yeah yeah so you want to like add to the tracks embellish them rather than distract from like, them you know it's, it's always good to have sort of that 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 uh, that, uh, that little bit of touch of emotion into it because you know you've got those you know effects that take you you know up and the other ones that break it down yeah so it's always good to have one of the you know those things at your disposal but at the same time for me it's all about keeping it nice and clean and then I, you know i you know take it from a specific stage and then you, you know i carry on with you so by yeah. the time my set ends and the night ends you're on a high you got the reward yes <laughs> yes yes now <laughs> i want i want to speak artists i mean obviously we we spoke about bridges for music earlier yes and we've got foster just out there no doubt yeah. but i mean you know let's talk about like influences and stuff i'm hearing a lot of uh, osan lard yoruba that yes. kind of the kenny dope sort of you know do you look to those kind of guys are you coming from that kind of heritage or is it 
something else or somewhere else? Uh, actually, you know, um, my influences, uh, I think one of my very first records that I listened to was uh, from an Africanism record and it was Bob Sinclair, one of his earlier works, I think back in yeah. 98, 99, around there. I think at that time the French scene was just breaking through the tribal sound and yeah. I don't know who it was, but someone got a hold of it and took it to South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and you know at that time i was in high school and i didn't know anything all i just knew was this music had been introduced on a 12 inch yeah. and it was making people go crazy man so for me my influences were coming from different areas you know from that era where the tribal scene was coming through at the same time you had a lot of the actually the earlier pitong work yeah where you had you had what we did was that when he came to South Africa, instead of playing it at 33 revolutions per minute, we played at 45. Wow. So you have this down tempo sound, which yeah. had, had a lot of influence into say, certain genres like white to music in South Africa. So my influences were coming from all angles, man. Like the yeah. hip hop scene, you know, um, I played a bit of Oshunade because of the work he used to do. You know, most, yeah. most of the people wouldn't even know him as someone who makes an eclectic sound from hip hop to R&B to near soul. And then now yeah. you have him as a house. We only know him as a house DJ yeah. and producer. So to have an eclectic feel to it, you know, it, it's it's all over the place, man. I mean, I think I like to open my ear to everything that's that's playing. Yeah, I mean, that, that was such a great set, though, because I, I yeah, love the right. drums. I could hear the rhythms and stuff. I yeah. could definitely hear your origins there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I want to talk to you also about Red Bull. Because, um, you know, the Bridges for Music is this year, but you yes. did some work with Rebel earlier, didn't you? I actually, specifically Rebel Music Academy, I was okay. selected to be part of the participants for Rebel Music Academy back in 2008. And at that time, they were hosting it in Barcelona. And, yeah. uh, I mean, that for me was an eye-opener because it also helped to, to a low, huge extent to sort of bring some of the knowledge back into South Africa because not right. only are you going as a participant you're also learning as but much as you, you can. you can bring it back as well. Exactly and that's where the, the relationship comes into it where you know once I got introduced to, to Bridges for Music the relationship was so natural you know for, for yeah. me to sort of be a part of it and really sort of push it because of the work that we've already been doing. So to have met someone as passionate and Valentino coming through with Bridges for Music in South yeah. Africa and in Langa specifically and you know to have met you know already myself having been done like having done most of the work yeah. that side it really just became a very organic relationship you know excellent i mean uh, so w what is the future you know where do we go yeah. from here you know you did glastonbury just now yes uh, or just this weekend yeah. and uh you're obviously doing this today yeah. we've got a whole stack of interviews etc yeah up. you know what what's the journey now where next um for tibor Tess personally um i think for me the journey only just began you know i've been making music since 2007 and i've been djing since 2005 and i only feel like i'm only just learning so yeah. much right now meeting different people and really just getting to understand the you know the, the craftsmanship of making the music that i want to make so I mean, for me, the journey continues now. I am definitely working on some sort of a release to start in the future, in yeah. the very near future. Because you played some of your own tracks. In exactly. The mix. Yeah, yeah. Got to get them in there. Definitely. I mean, one of the tracks I played, uh, like as I close with it, was one of my productions. I also included some of my productions into it. Um, but I think Tibotes, as, as in general, is in you know, as a, as a collective with Bridges for Music, yeah. we are working on building a Bridges for Music school in the township of Langa. Oh wow! Where we will obviously provide you know all the resources that with you know guys like myself so this is something that you're really passionate about extremely you know, not just coming over here and furthering your own career but yeah. also you you almost feel like a duty to come back to south africa and impart that knowledge you know to it, the it, people back home it goes beyond duty i mean this is something that you're passionate about and you know um when you see other kids at the same time really pushing to be you know to follow their dreams yeah. and follow their passions and at the same time they wouldn't have the opportunities and all you know, influences to really steer them in the right yeah. direction. You know, I've got a lot of kids that look up to me. I'm still young myself, but to have youngsters already from high school, yeah. you know, age the, already the looking up to you. The new generations are coming The new out. generation saying, you know, Tibote is, you know, we see what you're doing, you're making a difference. We want to actually be part of something and you seem to sort of be one of the people that are contributing. Yeah. It's always it's always encouraging. So, you know, British for Music School, right now, that's my primal focus when I get back, try to sort of push the education. What we've learned in the UK in last Berry Festival collectively all that knowledge get to share them in South Africa so there's a lot going on in, in once we get back 
Amazing. Thanks, man. That's probably quite a nice note to finish on. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been a real ple yeah. pleasure and an education. Thanks for having me, man, and allow me the opportunity to actually try out the equipment. You know, it, this is I'm mind blowing, man. You know, I still feel like I can maybe take some of them, go to my room <laughs> with them, and practice. So, thanks for having me here, man. Amazing. Thanks. Hope to have you back soon. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. I'm, I'm in love with the UK. I'm in love with the, the, that's the spirit, the energy. Everybody has been so um, welcoming to us. You know, I feel like I'm just at home. So I'm hoping that, you know, in the near future, we'll be, we'll be invited again to come and rock the UK. Amazing. Thanks a lot, man. All right. Thank you so much for listening. This has been at Tebow Taz here on the DJ Sound Show. DJ Foster coming up next. 